Now the question is, do we believe that we can remove the power of money from politics or not? Do we believe that we have no power? Power isn't a zero sum. I have some, therefore you have none. It's always in motion. It is about relationships. And the best kept secret in America that I talk about in my book is that it is possible to get money control out of campaigns. There is a proven way now in three states, and I have my heroes I talk about in there who are part of this process. In Maine in particular, it's made a significant difference. Maine, Connecticut, Arizona. It's called fair elections, publicly funded elections, clean elections, there are various names for it. How did they do it? It's, it's a pretty simple process. Take Maine, for example. I'll give you a story about my hero, Deb Simpson. She was a waitress in Auburn, Maine in the year 2000. Clean elections in Maine means that if she got 50 people to give her five bucks because they believed that she had the potential, she had what it took to be a strong legislator, she could run for office with public money, public financing. But she had to accept it. You know, she, it, it was voluntary, so it's going to pass the, the lens of the, the frame of the Supreme Court. It's a voluntary public financing. So, okay, Deb says, hey, I'm a waitress. I think I can do this. Get five bucks from 50 people. And she did. And she ran. And she won. She was, with a high school education at that point, a single mom mm. of a waitressing in a diner, but her friend saw that she was a natural leader, and she's like stepped up, stepped up to the plate. She's, she's even served as a co-chair of the Judiciary Committee and worked on women's issues, uh, family concerns, and now very much on the environment. So this is the kind of person that we want to be our representative, who's not listening to money, but listening to her constituency. Thank you.